Welcome back to Site Tech Intermountain Training Videos. In this SiteWorks training video, I'm going to show you a comparison side by side for some of the things between SCS 900, the older version, and the new SiteWorks newer version. Um, those of you that may be switching back and forth between the two or have people that are still running TSC3s that are still using it, if you are a new user to SiteWorks, completely or are switching from the old one that's what this video is for so i'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison here for a lot of the functions so when you open the site it's going to look pretty well the same from the old version to the new one where you've got your site um, site works calls it project but you've got work orders and designs each one of these if you drop them down you're going to have all the different projects that you've got in there uh, same thing for your work orders. Your work orders, you drop this down and you have to do new work order on the left here. And uh, on the right, you got to do the plus button for SiteWorks. So a couple differences there just in basics. But um, well, And then under the designs, same thing. You're either going to hit new design for the older one, no design needed. Or for SiteWorks, you're going to have no design needed. Or you're going to hit the plus symbol. So once you open up the program and come in, the main screen is probably one of the biggest differences here. We're going to go ahead and hit hook up a GPS rover. So with the old old system, SCS 900, you don't have any icons on the main screen right here. What you have to do is hit the home button and go to GPS and then connect device. With SiteWorks, you can hit the waffle button in the top left and go to uh, project setup and then there's a connect device so here you're going to go total station or gms so on both of these right here i'm going to use the emulator so for the emulator but the same settings are in here uh, for the mode i'm running a rover um, the connection type uh, emulator uh, and then we'll go ahead and hit accept we're not going to calibrate this site so as soon as we're on the project, you can see everything lights up on the main screen. The main thing that I wanted to show you is a lot of the older icon, or icons on the older system are still on the newer one here. They're, they're, they didn't reinvent the wheel. So starting down here at the bottom left on the old version where the home button is, that is the same as the waffle button in the top left of SiteWorks. Um, if you hit the home button and the waffle button, You'll have a lot of the same different same things in here, but they're just in different orders in a lot of places. You can go to site right there or project setup. You can if you hit site here, you've got open site or site review. Same thing with uh, the SiteWorks program. If we go back in there, this GPS right here on the old system is where you can do connect site calibration, coordinate system, enter control points, all that stuff. Same thing. In project setup, you've got your connect device, coordinate system, project calibration, etc. But under measure, you've got some different options in there. Um, measure control point. So if we go back into the menu here, under measure, you've got measure control point, measure type, and easy level. So you just need to look for what you're looking for if you're switching from the old to the new. Um, same thing for that stake button right there. So home. We've got the stake button right here. We've got Kogo in the old version. Um, down here on K stake and Kogo in SiteWorks, a lot of the same functions are in there where you've got review and edit data, create points, and arcs. Points manager is a little in a little bit different spot though on SiteWorks. It is under this data management tab that's underneath that. That one has the point manager right there. And then key and roads is still under Kogo. Key and coordinates, if you will. So if we back out of that, so on the main screen down here at the bottom with the older version, you've got the Trimble symbol. If you hit that one, that one's got your settings tab, measure type, reference line, measure mode. But under the settings right there uh, would be the same as if you go into the men menu and go down to settings in SiteWorks. That one right there has your info bar panel so you can configure the info bars. This one has that same thing um, right down here info bar panel if we go into both of those both of them have a lot of the same settings where you've got the bar one and bar two same thing on site works bar and info panel they're just named different because info panel is the first box to the 
left on the main screen. SiteWorks does have the settings option there that the older version doesn't. So there again, it's all still in there. <clears throat> on your main screen, the little guy standing down here at the bottom on SCS 900 is now kind of on the top left in SiteWorks. Sometimes in different modes, that'll switch to the right side. But inside each of those, you've still got standing, walking, vehicle, static, and easy level. They didn't change anything there. At the bottom here, <clears throat> where you got your satellites and your horizontal, is what you see at the top right of SiteWorks. The funny part with the old SCS is you have to time it right. So if I hit it there, it's only going to bring me into a menu <clears throat> for horizontal and vertical and my um, GPS status for basically you can see horizontal there and vertical and my sky plot. But I have to time it because it's flashing back and forth. When it goes to this other one right here, I can hit that one and it'll give me the radio information. So in SiteWorks at the top right, you've got your horizontal and vertical. And then if you hit that uh, cell tower looking one, that's the radio information. So same thing, fake base, one second. Those are the exact same. And then also your battery power. So the roller stuck in the mud down here at the bottom on the old SCS is still on SiteWorks. The roller stuck in the mud is what I call it. The little layers manager here in SiteWorks where the flap of papers define plane is still an option inside the old system also. So if they go into the guy standing, the easy level right there. So your info bar panels, I wanted to come back to that, or info bars. On the old SCS, you have your top one here that you can grab with your finger and move it, or you can hit those arrows to bounce them back and forth. You have two different options in here, the top one and the bottom one, and each one are configurable differently. In SiteWorks, you have the same top ribbon that you can grab and move around, or you have the info panel on the left here that you can switch this box in between 3D Slicer, blah, blah, blah. It's all in there. So... There's a lot of people that just keep asking me what are the differences between the difference or the, the old SCS and the new SciWorks, and I just wanted to show you. You can still hear touch where it says 6.562 on both of them, and it will take you into the mode settings right here. Here you can't uh, change your using the quick release or not on the older version, but this is your antenna height. The standing mode in SiteWorks is yes, I'm using my quick release or not. Um, you just exit out of both of those. Those are the exact same. The icon on the screen uh, looks a little bit different between the two. And then on the right side right here, your, uh, your options to zoom in or out are a lot the exact same between the two. Plus, minus to go in and out. Um, this box, you can still draw the box to zoom in specifically on both of those. Um, this one at the top right is the zoom extends to just where you're at. So if I went over to the side right here on both of them, that icon on that one zooms you over. The top right box zooms you over on that one. And then this one here on SCS 900 is the zoom exempts for the whole project. Same thing with this icon on the site works. So there again, didn't reinvent the wheel at all there. Now down here on the gear, on both of these, if you touch the gear, you do have some different options in here though. With the old version, you still have measure, you still have data, layers, and the rotate. Um, the newer system, you still have measured designs, layers, and rotate, but you now have the icon for the images where you can go in and turn on the icon, or excuse me, the background image. So we could turn on that one, um, hit apply to turn that on on the main screen. These are the differences between the old and the new. Now I have background image with SiteWorks. If I go back to that gear though, I've got display panel, which is new which is going to just basically be the same thing as the panels and boxes that I see on the main screen. Instead of changing those out there, I can change them in here, and then the 3D view. So the 3D view gives me um, the different options for using legacy colors or the exhortation text. So those are some of the main differences between the two different uh, versions here. Uh, but just don't get confused right here with the menu, what's in here versus what's in the, the icon right here. That's the Trimble symbol for symbol uh, for system info, et cetera, et cetera. So hopefully this helped if you're transitioning from the old version to the new version or to see the basic uh, basics in between. We could do the same thing for 
the total station, but for this video, we'll leave it for GPS. So once again, this is a Site Tech Intermountain training video for the old SCS 900 and SiteWorks comparison in between the two.